here are four things that I think are really crucial for you to be able to actually learn how to program and be successful at it. If you don't master these four things, it's going to be very, very difficult. So here's the thing. Programming is not easy, but it's not hard either. When I first started programming, I had no experience whatsoever. I didn't even have a lot of experience with computers in general. So I was really, really a beginner. But after about 15 years in this industry programming, I realized a few things. Number one, if you want to become a good programmer, you have to learn how you learn. What that means is most of us learn differently. Some of us like to watch tutorials, others like to have books, and I like a mixture of all of that. And others even like to go and do boot camps and all these different things just to learn. And none of these things are wrong, but you have to learn how you learn because if you just do what everybody else is doing, you are not going to progress as fast. And the important thing about programming in the beginning is that you have to master the basics. I'm talking about syntax, and the program structure. Here's an example I will give you about understanding the basics of programming. In mathematics, the equal sign is a sign of equality. So I can say A is equal to B. But in programming, the equal sign itself doesn't mean equality. It means assignment. So just that very small comparison there, you can see the difference if you're coming into programming and you don't understand that very basic concept you can see how disconnected you can be when it comes to understanding how programming is. It is a shift in mindset. Obviously, in the beginning, you have to master uh, the small things, the syntax of the programming language. How do you create variables? How do you do control flow, if statement, loops, while loops, and so forth? Those are very basics. That way, you have the foundation of what programming is. But most importantly, programming is not about actual programming. The goal of programming is not just programming for the sake of it. The goal is to solve problems. If you want to become a software engineer, you're essentially saying that I want to spend time solving problems. The tricky part is, in order for you to become a good problem solver in terms of coding, you have to understand how do you link the problems, the real world problems, into requirements that you can then use a programming language to solve those problems. So that is indeed another skill that you have to master. It is not until you know the basics, how a programming language works, the syntax, all of that, and you're able to build some applications or some programs. It's not until you have that out of the way that you're going to be able to focus then on how then to solve problems, how to translate problems, real world problems into requirements so you can use that programming language to solve that problem. Now, once you understand that programming is all about solving problems and you are able to solve real world problems using code, now it is important to understand how do you create, how do you optimize that code? This is what we call algorithm. So an algorithm is just like a recipe, a step-by-step -step instructions that allow you to do something, in this case, to solve a problem. But when it comes to programming, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. As you solve these problems, there are good ways of solving problems and not so good ways of solving problems. So I'm talking about efficiency. And in the programming, it's very important to be efficient because of the resources that it's taking up on a computer or machine. So this is when algorithms, understanding how algorithms work, it's very crucial. It's very crucial because it is a difference between solving a problem efficiently and solving a problem inefficiently. And so we always want to solve problems efficiently. So understanding the basics of algorithms, understanding how computers work, understanding how programs take all the resources on a machine, on a computer, on a device, and in general, how efficient your programs are, which takes us to another point, which is debugging. Because the thing about debugging, which means trying to find and solve coding errors or any syntax errors, or even logical errors that you may encounter in your code, it is indeed another important skill to have and learn if you want to become a good programmer. Okay. And this is more of an art than a science. And it's something you just have to practice just like anything in life. If you want to be a good runner, if you want to be a really good basketball player, you have to practice, but there has to be some sort of a well designed way of practicing in order for you to get good. And the last point, which is very important is that you have to do lots of projects. This ties back into practicing part of SQL acquisition. You will never become a decent or a good programmer if you're not programming. That is just not possible. It's not easy, 
but it doesn't have to be extremely difficult. You just have to have the mindset, which is the number one thing you have to be able to. And yes, of course, you're going to feel stupid sometimes because I still feel stupid sometimes, but it's okay. We are here to learn. So focus on practice, good practice, understanding the basics of programming, understanding what a programming does, the building blocks of programs, and what is the ultimate goal of programming, which is to solve real world problems. And how do we solve real world problems is by practicing, is by transferring those problems into code so that we can solve them. And that, my friend, is how you become a beast, a real good programmer. So these are my tips for you to continue to learn about programming. If you're a beginner, even better. If you're not, these are skills. These are steps. These are things, as I said, that will make you an amazing programmer and be confident in your skills. And the great thing is also, once you learn the skills, these are transferable, which means you can take the same skills and add them to a different discipline. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was helpful and you found some value in it. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and also leave comments below and tell me how you learn. Tell me what are the things that you do to continue learning programming or what's your plan if you're a beginner to learn programming. Very good. So I'll see you next time.